In this video, we're going to give you a brief overview of a movement inside a rooster clock made by Emmeline Vialin Fertwagen. One of the rarest clocks that Worley made was a rooster clock, and it's the only clock that he made that produces the music or the sound entirely with friction. So there is no air generated in this piece. And he does it in quite a simple way. There's a wooden squawk box or wooden chest mounted on the back of the movement. And it's a hollow wood box and inside that box there's a metal diaphragm that comes up to the very top into a reed, a thin metal reed. And on top of the reed there's a serrated wheel underneath this tin diaphragm that rides on the top of that reed. You see when I rotate this lever, it creates some vibration that creates a sound that's echoed through this box. And the movement does a couple things. The first thing that it controls is this whole mechanism is mounted on a shaft and you can see it rotates. And the cam on the back of the movement changes the position of the whole squawk box in relation to the serrated wheel. So that changes the friction from more to less friction. And the cam also controls the speed at which the wheel is rotated. And by combining the correct amount of friction and the correct speed, Worley was able to perfectly reproduce the call of the rooster without the use of air. We'll set this off so you can see exactly how it works. And that's it. That's the uh, mechanism inside a clock made by Emmeline Vierley. Not only is the movement here an eight day time movement, it also uh, generates the call of the rooster three times on the hour. And then it also has some automation features that control the rooster that's located at the top of the clock. You see that's the basic workings of an Emmeline Vierley rooster clock. And uh, we're happy to share it with you. Uh, more examples of unique Black Forest clocks can be seen on our website, which is blackforestclocks.org.